Here locally now, we do have a breaking news alert. WWT 6 News is on the scene as police seem to wrap up a manhunt. This happening in Council Bluffs. Our Matthew Smith is at the scene near Harrison and Broadway. He continues our coverage live. Mallory, Joe, the blue house that you see just over my shoulder here. This is the area that U.S. Marshals and police were focusing on for the past hour. At one point in time, I saw 10 police cruisers blocking off this entire area street. And you can imagine around the time of 4 o'clock when this all started, just off of Broadway on Harrison Street, where I stand right now, a lot of traffic, a lot of people looking around asking, what in the world is going on here? There were a lot of people out in the streets just looking at this blue house. Some people were telling me they didn't even know anybody lived here. Well, police are telling me that a woman inside the Blue House had a warrant out of Douglas County for delivery of narcotics. The interesting part here, though, it was U.S. Marshals out of Des Moines, Iowa, that were here to arrest her. And here's the thing. Police can't say why such a big police presence was needed for this one individual. But again, at least 10 police cruisers in and around this area, just in a one-block space. Uh, some of them were actually Council Bluffs police officers that were called in as backup. I was talking with an officer. He says they never made it into the house. In fact, the officer said he didn't know exactly what they may or may not have been hiding in that house. We are working to try to find out what they were doing, but police tell me they could not make entry into the Blue House because, well, they didn't have reason to. The woman did come out and they did have a successful arrest. I just contacted the U.S. Marshal's office in Des Moines, Iowa, working to get more details on the name of this suspect and just what she is accused of doing. As soon as we learn that information, I'll update you online at WOWT.com and in later editions of WOWT 6 News. For now, reporting live with photographer Alex Hassel. I'm Matthew Smith, WOWT 6 News.